Hi there, welcome to the studio. So today I'm actually kind of obsessed with red, white, and blue paint. Um, it's almost July. I don't know when I'll post this video. It might be a couple months after July, but right now it's almost July 4th in Cleveland, Ohio. So I have a lot of red, white, and blue things happening in my paintings today. So at the dollar store, I found these really tall, I think that they're dessert glasses. I'm not quite sure but I'm going to do flip cups using those today in red, white, and blue. So um, we'll see how that works. I think they're four ounces, so I will only need probably three of them for the small canvas that I'm gonna use. So, so I'm using that. all um, metallics. So this is a pearl. This one is just blue. I think it's Sax Metallics Blue. And I have another one that is sex metallic and it's called red, but it really kind of looks like it has a red and pink issue, but I still love it. So we're going to use those and stack our cups. Let me get my gloves on and we'll get started. All right, so I did estimate that I could probably do this with three of these flip cups. I may not even need all that paint, but that's all right. If I don't use it all, I will recycle it. Now, I'm not sure how this bottom layer is going to come out. So, oh, here, about, do you see those bumps in there? That is actually inside my cup, so I don't know what's going to, good thing I don't have to mix in this one. So we'll see how that right, works. So I'm stacking my cups. I've already put the white in the bottom. And just doing the three today. Let me give myself a little bit of room. Now, if you haven't seen these little pictures yet, I buy them at the dollar store. As you can see, they have nice little handles. Measurements on the side. Kind of nice. Those look beautiful, so let me move those aside. Beautiful. All right, this should be interesting because they're so tall. I think I'm going to do one here, one here. Hmm. Let's see if I get my hand in here, and one there. Whoop. I guess they came out a little bit. That's okay. Let's make them all come out a little bit. There we go. All right, so I like to let them settle because what's in the bottom, um, because there was a little bit of a space, it will kind of mix if you don't let it just settle slowly. And you'll end up with this a lot of light blue at the end. That's gonna be a lot of paint, but I can recycle it because I'm pouring over top of plastic. All right, we ready for this? I'm actually going to pull this one back off. You can do that if you need to. Because I'm going to have way too much paint. All right, ready? And then I'll do a wiggle pour at the end of this one. both of those right there and let them settle. Let me get some air bubbles out. I don't really like this poofies. There 
There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and tilt a little. Look how cool those look. We're going to go over this side first because then we can stretch that design out. Yep, that was, uh, I should have calculated my paint. Usually I use a um, paint calculator and calculate my paint first, but I already had these red and blues out, so I was just excited to try out these little cups. Let me create something here, too. I think that's going to go all the way over that way, getting rid of a good bit of that paint. <laughs> that's really cute. Uh -huh. 